Hey you guys, it's Olivia Culpo and I am going to be making my mom's homemade pizza with L. Check me out on Instagram and YouTube if you want to see any other recipes, but for now I'll show you mama's homemade pizza. It is very risen. I'm definitely feeling a little bit like Susan Culpo right now. And I'm going to put it in the oven and then we'll be back in 10 to 20 minutes. I actually don't know if that's accurate. I'll let you know when I figure it out. Why are parents so good at cutting things? This is awful, I did not buy this. In this box is my mom's pizza pan. This is kind of crazy. The pizza pan has been serving four generations of people in my family. She also wrote me this little note that says, love you, remember, you must return. Her mother had this pan, and so her mother, her, me, and then my now nieces and niece and nephew have all eaten off of this pizza pan, and we don't make anything on this pan other than pizza. So in this box, there's a note with all the instructions for my mom. We have our crushed tomato, and then also the dough. So this dough is actually from a local Rhode Island bakery that we've gone to my entire life. It's called Buono's Bakery. We love the dough there. So this is the famous pizza pan. So the thing that's really interesting about this pizza pan is that it's not a pizza pan. It's actually a roasting pan. So this was used for roasting chicken, turkey, stuff like that. Why we believe this is such a great pizza pan is because it's first of all able to get really, really hot. So the dough gets super crunchy. And also it's so old and porous at this point that it holds a lot of delicious flavor that when you cook on it, they, the flavors come out, they kind of just meld together beautifully. Um, but as you can see, it definitely looks ancient. <laughs> and it kinda is. As my mom's instructions say, preheat the oven to 500, which I'll do in a little bit, but I have to let the dough rise for two to three hours. I kind of let it sit out a little bit, so I'm gonna leave it out for like 30 more minutes if you want it to fill with a little bit more air, so it's extra, um, extra like fluffy when we cook it and just, oh, perfection. We're stirring our sauce. It's just crushed red peppers, a teaspoon of oregano garlic powder, um, red pepper flakes, but you can go a little less if you don't want it super spicy, and then just like a pinch of salt and pepper. So this tastes pretty on brand. I'm definitely feeling a little bit like Susan Culpo right now. I think I nailed it. So our next step is gonna be to oil. Oh wait, also there was a teaspoon of um, oil in here. So for the olive oil, I'm just gonna drizzle this all over the pan. I did make sure that this pan has been sanitized, so don't worry everybody, we are being clean. Although there is a very specific way that we clean this pan because you don't want to ever cause it to rust. Now we're gonna take the dough. This is my favorite part. It is very risen. So sometimes when this happens, my mom actually warned me about this. If there's any like bubbles that come up and I'll have to, um, I'll have to just basically pop them because this is getting really sticky too. But we don't use any flour, which is another like kind of rare thing that we do with this pizza, but it's because it's one of the reasons why the pizza ends up tasting so good. And it's just because sometimes flour can add like a chalky taste or it can just take away in general from the flavor of pizza. We're not trying to get like a perfectly round pizza, we're not throwing it up in the air. We're just gonna stretch it like this, like hold it with our hands and kind of just watch it grow. I remember my mom doing this so much growing up. I mean, every Friday we would have pizza in our house and I just remember walking downstairs, my mom would be touching the pizza like this, like this part isn't even written in the instructions. There's literally step four, there's four steps. That's where this whole thing ends. So like some of this stuff is just by my memory, just watching my mom do it for my whole life. As you can see, a lot of this is just being like super gentle. You don't want any holes, but you also don't want it to be uneven. So I think now is a good place for me to put it down. And then I'm just gonna stretch it with my hands. Food in general for our family has always represented taking care of the people that you love. So that's something that I've taken away for sure from my mom and also just growing up in the restaurant industry and having my own restaurant now. Seeing the way that food brings people together is really, really beautiful. And for me, food represents communion and love. 
Another tip that my mom has always told me about pizza is it's really important not to overhandle the dough. You don't want to touch it too much because it will lose its natural fluff. I feel like my dough is super stretched, but I have my sister actually off frame. She's been eyeing me like a hawk. So I am going, oh, I like your Privé sunglasses. These are the sunglasses that I divide for Privé Privé Revo, if anybody likes wow. them. But uh, um, did I stretch this enough, do you think? Yeah, mom would be proud. Yeah. This part can get messy, so I am gonna add, oh my gosh, this is awful. This no. is awful, I did not buy this. This was gift to my sister. I just don't wanna get any tomato sauce on this white shirt because that would be embarrassing. So here's our mozzarella. I'm going to grate it into this bowl. So we're gonna do the sauce, cheese, put it in the oven for, let's say, 10 to 20 minutes, it really does not take any time at all, but that's another fun part of this. We don't have any process of timing this, it's just by eyesight. I mean, every time it feels like it's a little different. So I'm just putting our sauce all over the pizza. We're leaving a little room on the edges for our crust. Yum. Oh, by the way, with the sauce, it's just a thin layer. It's great sauce, so you can use however much you want. It's definitely more of a personal preference thing. Then I'm gonna take our mozzarella. I'm gonna put it on the pizza. Oh my gosh, I have a giant chunk here. What happens? I'm going to just cover, again, personal preference, whatever you want. Cute. So my mom said that I can or I can't sprinkle this with a little bit of olive oil. So I'm gonna do a little, little, tiny little, Sprinkle, I'm not gonna go too crazy. It's always so hard to be like minimal with anything I pour. I just go, there's like no happy in between. I wanna make my mom proud. Okay guys, I don't think I missed a step. Here is my pizza and I'm gonna put it in the oven and then we'll be back in 10 to 20 minutes. I actually don't know if that's accurate. I'll let you know when I figure it out. Here we go. Okay, so the way that my mom told me to check if the pizza is ready is to take it out and then look at the bottom. So we want it to be like a perfect golden brown, which it almost is. Okay, you guys, our perfect, fluffy, incredible pizza is totally ready. I'm gonna take it off of the pan. Let's go, one, two, three. Yum. Okay, so I'm cutting the pizza. Oh my gosh, it's so crunchy on the bottom. This is like a pizza saw. I don't even know what you call this thing, but this really makes me miss my mom. Like, my house smells like my childhood right now. She's a lot better at cutting things than I am too. Why are parents so good at cutting things? <laughs> okay guys, this is our delish pizza cutting job. Not as amazing as my mom's, but one final step is I'm going to cut a little bit of basil to add to the top. The sprinkle on the top of the pizza. Oh my gosh, this smells insane. I just wanna like stuff my face right now with this pizza. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Look at all that cheesy, amazing goodness. Wow. <laughs> so good. Try this. Did I nail mom's pizza or what? Oh, I feel like I'm at home. It's so good. Mama, I made it. Mama, we made it. She made it. I ate it. It was a joint effort. Okay, guys, that's it. Thank you for watching my mom's pizza recipe. Don't forget to subscribe to Elle so you can see more videos like this. And yes, okay, everybody, you can come eat it. No, you still want it. I want it. Oh.